Hey baddies, what's up? It's your girl Tiffany H. So let me tell y'all why I'm seeing Tiffany H. So technically, my name is Tiffany Harris. That's my birth name. However, I've gotten married and it's a lot of work to go change your name. So I haven't changed it to Hicks yet. But because both of them begin with the H, I can just say, hey, what's up girls? My name is Tiffany H. And y'all can just roll with that. So when I change my name, I don't even have to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I just wanted to say what's up, baddies. So in this video, you're actually, well, hold on, pause. Would y'all prefer to be called baddies? Or would y'all like for me to say, hey, what's up, glam girls or glam dolls? My daughter says she likes baddies better this is my oldest girl she says she like baddies better so y'all tell me which one y'all prefer and i'll go with that but for now what's up baddies it's your girl tiffany h and in this video you're gonna see how i came up with this flawless smoky eye with this bronze i mean really dark lip i'm gonna go over it with some gloss because um I don't know if I like it this deep and this dark. I think I would prefer it to be a little glossy. So we're going to gloss it up real quick. But um, you're really going to enjoy this video. Because I have my mother-in-law and my mom in here with me. And they have been acting bad. Yeah, I did my mother-in-law's makeup. And um, yeah, she acting funny. Like she don't want me to post it. Talk about some of her hair not done. Her hair is done talk about oh, i ain't got on no outfit well i'm just posting your face now nah, can you just post me another day then you got my mama banging on the door like somebody trying to kidnap her so yeah it's gonna be a really interesting video but right now i'm gonna get off here and go take some pictures so i can get ready to get home to my man because um <laughs> we can get it popping mm -hmm. so i'm gonna take my pictures and get home to my husband plus i gotta let this scaredy pants over here go home <laughs> and this slave over here <laughs> go home because her man go get her <laughs> he ain't gonna let her come out the house with a daughter no more this her last show y'all and I'm not going to edit it. So y'all saw you her looking all hood. Y'all, my mama is like hood, hood. My mother-in-law is bougie and my mama is hood, hood. She be trying to fight the niggas. So y'all, it's going to be an interesting situation. But I really think I look cute. Mm. I look like um That's how she a bougie look for chick. Funeral too. Oh, you gonna do me up for my funeral? You gonna do my makeup too? I ain't gotta do your makeup. You, you dying today. Oh, you already got to. Talia, so let me tell you. Mommy loves you from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't be with you the rest of my life. Or your life. Because your grandmother is gonna kill me. Word and up. your granny's gonna watch her kill me. Word That's up. so sad. Let me take these pictures though, y'all. All right, so I've already done my first brow off video, and I haven't blended it yet. I just actually went in and traced it. So I'm gonna do this eyebrow on camera for you so you can walk through with me. First, we're gonna start by brushing our hair, our eyebrow hair up. My eyebrows need to be arched, but that's neither here nor there. After I brush them up, I pull it towards the side, just like this. And I'm using a mascara wand. I'm going into the Juvie's Place I Sculpt Eye Shade. And I'm actually using the second shade, which is this deep brown right here. I'm going to lift my brow with my finger 
and I'm gonna start tracing right here. Now, while I'm doing my brow, I'm not going to do a lot of talking because I want my brows to be on point. Doing the same thing at the top. And all I'm doing is outlining my brow first and then I'm going to go back and fill it in. And if you make a mistake while you're doing it, I wouldn't worry about it too much because you can always clean it up with concealer. Now, when I'm coming to the front, I don't put any additional powder on a brush. I just use whatever access is left on here so that I'm not putting too much product in the front, okay? And I'm doing the same thing at the top. Now, for me, I do not come all the way over because I want my brows to look as natural as possible. And now I'm going to fill it in. And even with filling it in, you're using the access because you don't want to do too much product. If you do have to put more product on like I just did, I normally wipe it on a paper towel or on the back of my hand. Just depends. For the front part, I just brush my brow hairs upwards like I said I want it to look as natural as possible and then I'll go back in and blend it so for me to blend it down I go back with the spoolie and like I said I didn't do the other side either so I'm going to blend down both sides now and I start to brush my hairs upwards like I did before I actually started to outline. Brushing them upwards into the side just to blend in the product so it looks pretty natural. And of course when you go back and clean it with the concealer that makes it look even more natural. So. And that's basically all I do for my brow hairs. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and fill in the brow. Right now, I'm using my Mandy Nars Concealer. And I'm going to start right here in the middle part, like I did when I was outlining. Again, I'm lifting my brow to get a better feel for it and I'm gonna outline the bottom like I did with the brow powder See, the thing is, I know how to ignore you. And I don't care if I'm talking on here because I can always edit my talking. <laughs> but I'm not going to edit y'all's. <laughs> Ma, I'm not dealing with you right now. Y'all, I apologize. My mom is acting up right now. So, it's okay. I got my mom and my mother-in-law here today. Y'all look at them. 
when I post this video from them earlier. Why they both shaking their heads? They must have forgot they was talking earlier. Hey girl. Y'all remember that? <laughs> Y'all want to laugh so bad. <laughs> Ma, you look so pretty back there. Y'all want to see my mom? <laughs> start my eyeshadow we're doing a smoked out brown look and for sanitary reasons I'm using this little lip wand to apply the concealer to my eyelid now if this is your own product say like you just doing your makeup on yourself you don't have to worry about doing this but if you're a makeup artist or want to be a makeup artist please make sure you're doing everything in your power to keep everything sanitary so we're gonna apply this all over my eye and as i told y'all earlier my mom's both of them my mother-in-law and my birth mom that's shaking her head is in the studio with me and my mom thought it was a good idea my mother-in-law thought it was a good idea for me to actually show you all what i mean about you're gonna pat this concealer down so that it doesn't crease but i'm gonna let you see where it creases so that you will know what it looks like but you always want to pat it first And right now I'm petting the edges. Now if you're doing this on yourself, you kind of want to keep your eyes shut most of the time. Even if you're doing it on a client, you want to tell them to keep their eyes shut. Um, so that you don't have to keep on cleaning it up. Now, I've... She almost kicked my light down, y'all. <laughs> really anyways i'm sorry y'all and now she messed up my light ain't that super bright oh my gosh we don't want all that y'all i don't know if i'm gonna edit that out as bloopers or if i'm gonna leave all this in here because i'm starting to see why i normally take these videos by myself because um mom that's not nice to stick up your middle finger at me go ahead say something boo <laughs> Would y'all like to know my mama's name? Okay, so look. See where it creased at? Y'all see them lines right there? That's what it looks like when it creases up. So before I actually put on the eyeshadow, I'm going to go back and pat it back down. But today I'm using my Morph Babe. Or rather my Morph, but I want to be a Morph Babe. I'm using my Morph eyeshadow palette. And it's the Sweet Oasis. I don't know. More if y'all tell me how to pronounce that. 35S. In this palette, I'm using this deep brown. It's called Shady Spot. And this is what we're going to use to pat on my eyelid. And then we're going to use, I don't know why y'all be putting all these names that I can't pronounce. This light color right here for under my eyebrow all right so as i stated it did crease so i'm gonna go back and pat it down if it creases like that and you don't go back and pat it down you will have a eye, patchy eyeshadow and i'll show you that in another video but while my eyes like this i'm gonna go ahead and pat this deep dark brown on my eye. I go over it a couple of times to try to prevent it from being patchy. And I'm gonna actually take it up. There's so many ways you can actually do this. You don't have to take it up as far as I'm taking it up. You can just basically leave it right here. And then you can blend it out or you can continue to take it up a little higher 
to really make it that smoke smoke look it just depends on what look you going for to be honest with you it's no right or wrong way doing makeup it's all about creativity and so we're being very creative minus the fact that my mothers are in here tripping me out but it's all gravy like I said, we might just keep all this in these videos. And I'll tell y'all their names when they're not here. When I go back and edit it. So y'all will know exactly. Especially for y'all that know me. <laughs> know exactly who we talking about here. Mm-hmm. Blast these mamas. Miss Robin and Miss Alfreda. Actually, that looks like more, of, I'm going to say this bright eyeshadow I'm looking at is like our Frisco, maybe. Ouch, why you fuck me? You want me to get him your whole government? Because we can do it. <laughs> we can go there. <laughs> Look at mom back there being good, trying to make sure she stay out the camera. Y'all, I'm going to insert her picture from today in this video. Since she don't want y'all to see her. Because I just got finished doing her makeup. And she look good. She look good without makeup though. But she look real good. I'm trying to. I ain't going to say that right now. I'll tell y'all about it when it's just me and y'all. Okay. Alright. So after. Um, after we pat on the dark eyeshadow, we actually pat on the light shadow. Like I said, I think that name is pronounced uh, Frisco. After we pat, make sure again you are patting. After we pat, we are going to, Mom, why are you patting your hair? Pat your weave, ladies. Pat, pat, pat your weave, ladies. You got weave in? Yeah, you do. <laughs> While I'm rocking my natural, she rocking weave. But it still look good. Both of us over here looking good. I'm just looking a little ratchet right now doing this makeup. But it's all good. We gonna blend this down. Where's your wipe emotions? <laughs> they keep on messing with me. I'm gonna show you both of them. And that ain't going to be a blooper. So she can keep on if she wants to. She don't know me that well. I'm going to cancel y'all. So she know. I ain't got no problems with doing it. Look my mother-in-law over there being real good. She don't want no parts. Baby, your mama in here being good. She don't want no parts of this. All right, I think we blended that good, a a Okay. Okay, so now we're going to cover up my dark spots. As you can see, I do have dark spots under my eyes. Um, and I have some dark spots in other areas that I might touch up on. But basically, we're going to go ahead and pat. If you are dark skin and you have dark spots, you definitely want to use an orange. Um, even if you light skin and you have dark spots, you want to use like an orange undertone. It can be a lipstick if you choose to. But I would use something that's a cream base and pat it onto that area where you have dark spots. So, I'm going to do some of this. Looks a little weird. But it ain't going to look like that once we cover it up. Alright, so now I'm going to go over top of the orange base with my concealer. I'm not going to go over this with the concealer because I'm going to just go over that with the foundation. So I'm not worried about that. And there's no reason why I just do the outer corners. I just feel like it. You don't have to. You can. You don't have to. Just remember, you're going to look a little crazy till you finish, okay? 
He said, no, it's not going to happen. Y'all, so I dropped the foundation when I was about to show y'all what I was using. And they in here talk about some. That's what I get. But guess what? It wasn't on camera. Okay. So I'm using the NARS. And it's the Sheer Glow Foundation in Marquise. One thing about the NARS foundation, you can always use your finger to blend it in. Um, I choose not to. But they did make it so that you could use your finger for basically most of the NARS products. Alright, so to start off with my foundation, I first use a brush and I pat my foundation on. And FYI, I did prime and moisturize my face off camera. So make sure you're always priming and moisturizing your face before you do this. Do you ladies have anything to say right now? No? Okay. Huh? So what is priming tip? Really? Yeah, just whatever. like you, just like you prime the wall before you paint. Tell it's, what is priming? <laughs> okay, so priming's gonna stop the foundation for one messing up your skin. Just like you don't want to mess up the wall, you prime it. It's also gonna um, help so that the foundation does not go into your pores. You don't want your foundation seeping into your pores, and that's another reason why I'm patting on the foundation. Um, I want to show you all this video of something I was taught in Sephora where you actually put a primer on an orange and then you pat the foundation on there and that would give you more of an understanding why you use a primer before you actually put on your foundation. And you always use a primer and moisturizer. A lot of people say they don't want to use foundation or makeup because they don't want to mess up their skin it's ways to actually use the product so that it won't mess up your skin so but I'll be giving you more and more details on that as I create these videos y'all heard my mother-in-law back there asking questions for y'all mm, look she's so sweet Thank whole you, time Tim. she ain't want to talk now you won't sit up here and talk they got me in here laughing, y'all. They so crazy. They need to come for all these videos, I think. But they ain't gonna do that because they know I'm gonna end up showing them before long. Because <laughs> I'm just that nice. Y'all, my mama is so disrespectful, y'all. She keep on giving me the middle finger. That is so rude. You would think she loves me. But she don't treat me right. Y'all, FYI, after I'm done with this, I'm going to go live on Instagram. But I was having a really bad day. A really bad day. I wanted to cut somebody out today. And it didn't matter who it was. I was trying to let the devil get to me today. And I had made a pact to myself that this year I was not going to feed into that. I'm going to stay on a positive street. And I swear everything was going wrong. The lady in Sephora didn't want to give me the darn gift bag when I spent over the required amount. That's in another video. I'll post the link for that video in here. But y'all going to be tripping too. It was ridiculous. But um, yeah, so the devil was trying to mess with me. Had me all depressed. Don't know why. But I just was not feeling up to it. So I took time out. I did my nails. And um, I washed my hair and did my hair. And after I did my hair, I started feeling better. And was like, oh, I'm going to go to the studio and get all did up and really feel good about myself. I don't know why my mom don't want me to show y'all because she really looks good. But you know how people be funny. They act all bougie and stuff, so... We're going to let her add bougie and I insert her picture later. <laughs> Y'all, she back there cracking up. <laughs> she ready to fight me. My husband not going to let you fight me. He going to get you. You know, that man don't play by me. 
That man don't play by me. And you know Talia ain't gonna let you get me. You heard me. Talia gonna come looking for you. Y'all, Talia, my little four-year-old. And she don't play by her mama. She'll take somebody out for that mama. Mm-mm-mm. But it's all gravy. So right now, we just patting in the foundation. Once I'm done patting in the foundation, I'm going to actually go back over with a little more concealer to give it more of a highlight look. And then we're going to go ahead and blend it in with the blender. Because we've already patted. We patted down our foundation. Now we're patting down the concealer. I personally think if you do the pat with a brush first, once you come back over with the beauty blender, it just blends it all the way down to the point it looks supernatural. Now, let me tell y'all about my mother-in-law, y'all. She gonna tell me she don't <laughs> do foundation and, you know, she want her makeup to look as natural as possible. So, I gave her more of a new natural eye, which would have been a brighter eye. Y'all, why she like the smoky eye like I got? That's made up. So I had to go back and smoke over her eye. And she was like, oh, I like that. But she don't like the concealer under her eye, y'all. But it's okay. We're going to let her try without the concealer and see how she like it. But let me tell y'all. So some of the eyeshadow fell down, right? Oh, it looks dark now. I thought you didn't want no concealer under your eye. Now I look made up again. Ma'am, you just seeing stuff. It's all good. I love that lady. Mm hmm See the stuff I go through? I tell y'all. So y'all off camera, my mom was talking about my mother in law that is. She on this side. My mama on this side, but she on this side. She talk about how she wanna choke me, y'all. Mm mm mm. We tell I tell my husband when I get home. When he see this video, mm. He gonna have some words for his mama. So right now I'm just taking this concealer a little further down so we will have more of a highlighted situation going on. Don't want to put this back in my concealer. So I'm going to grab a new one. We're going to come down the bridge of my nose. Right up under my nose and above my lip. A little on my chin. Go ahead one more time and we gonna hit this forehead, y'all. Y'all, my last video sucked with the voice. I had, um, Don't corona. you have a big forehead? No, I don't. Mom, be quiet. See? Now I'm really about to show y'all what they look like since they want to play games on my video. Bet you they won't say nothing else. My mama know. I don't know why she be trying to try me. But it's okay because I'm inserting videos and pictures of them in here. So it don't matter. They can keep messing with me. They don't know my editing skills is on point. Point. You know what I mean? But anyway, back to what I was saying. What was I saying? How big your forehead was? She made me forget what I was about to say, y'all. Hmm. Contouring. No, I wasn't talking about that because now you made me forget. It's all good. When I remember, I'll tell y'all about it because she really threw me for a loop. Alright, so now I'm using black opal. And I'm using this just to contour my face. Now, I will tell you one thing. A lot of videos you will see people highlighting right here, right here as well, and in the other areas I highlighted in. The only reason I'm not doing this part is because for me, I feel like it's a little extreme as far as highlighting going goes just for me to just be walking outside, going to the store or something like that. I do like to define my features, but not if I'm not on camera or video like that, okay? So, it's like I said, it's all about creativity, so you're doing what you want to do. With this, I'm actually going to apply it to my face because you can go back and you can spray this with some alcohol and wipe it off. You can do that a few times. That cleans this back off, okay? So, we're going to 
I use one that's not too dark because I don't want something too extreme. This is my forehead. And then I'm actually going to put it on my e.l.f. And this is the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. I'm actually going to put it on here for my nose contour. And for me, I've been loving this narrow nose looking thing. Like, really, I don't think my nose is that big to begin with. But something about, like, really shaping it down to make it look even smaller, I have really fallen in love with, okay? So, and at the end of my nose... I tend to take it into like a V. Just like I said, a preference for me. You do what you feel like doing. But this is my own preference. So, makeup artists, you ain't got to tell me I'm doing it wrong. Because it's what I choose to do, okay? I don't tell you when you're doing something wrong. So, stay in your lane. Now let me do what I do. And now I'm just blending down that contour on my nose. When I tell y'all in the end, that sucker going to be popping. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so now we're about to go ahead and blend down everything as far as the highlight goes with the Beauty Blender. First, I pat it down using the flat side to blend that in. Make sure before you use the blender that you wet it. You cannot use the sponge and it's not wet. It's not going to do nothing for you. So, when I was working for Sephora, as I told you all, I was working for Sephora. And they used to always use the blender brush. But before I tell you that, so look. Now I turned it over to the round part to just blend it down better. But by the eye, you want to make sure you definitely use the tip. And I will be going over that so you can see it. But anyway, back to what I was saying about Sephora. I used to see almost everybody use the beauty blender. So one day I went home and tried to use it. And nobody ever taught me how to use it. Y'all, why I tried to use it, Tron was wondering why I didn't get no results. Worst thing ever. I was like, I ain't using this thing again. So then I went and took this class in Atlanta with Sierra Lloyd. And she actually told me that you're supposed to wet it. Man, once I found out that and started using it, now I love it. Look at this. Blend it down. Look at this. Yeah, we about to blend this whole thing down. Like I said, the flat part first. And really, you shouldn't be trying to talk while you're doing this. The one is going to make my video longer. Two, I really can't talk and do that. Turn it over. Use the round part again. Same thing down here. Blend first with the flat part. Blend, blend, blend. Flip it over. Round, round, round. Oh, mama, you up in this video. I'm lying. <laughs> Y'all, she went like this. <laughs> I'm going to leave them alone, y'all, but they so funny. She is such an evil daughter. That's why you love me, girl. I'm her favorite daughter. Sorry, Dom. But you know it's true, too. That's why y'all be mad at each other a lot. Because you feel like she love me more than you. It's okay. She loves us the same, but I'm still her favorite. <laughs> well, you like, how can I have a favorite if I love y'all the same? I know, boo. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Cause she acts just like you. My daughter is a hot mess, y'all. She get it from her dad and her two grandmas. Mm. Hot mess, I tell you. And her birthday coming up, y'all. Y'all should tell me what I should do for her birthday. 
my, my, my baby think Christmas is every day. She be wanting Christmas every day so she can get a bunch of gifts. Little do she know she still got Christmas gifts, but we ain't gonna tell her that. She got about 30 gifts. I went crazy for Christmas and did not realize I went crazy. <laughs> oh, I know what I was telling y'all. So my first video, y'all, oh my gosh, my voice sounds horrible. I had just gotten over Corona like two weeks prior to doing it. And they tell you sometimes you still have certain symptoms that haven't went away even though you've recovered from it. So I haven't told y'all about that video because I literally sound like I had a frog in my throat. And I was trying to clear it out while I was trying to do my voiceover. And oh my gosh, it did not work. It sounds horrible. So <laughs> I'm so happy I got my voice back. Ooh, y'all heard that. We know. I can't even sing, though. That's the sad thing. Hey, y'all, they went to school with me. Remember when I tried to sing for that, um, <laughs> for that, uh, what was it? We was doing Romeo and Juliet, and y'all booed me on the stage. That was so trifling. Y'all hurt my feelings. How y'all know I ain't want to go commit suicide after that? Y'all can't be doing people like that. I tell you, kids nowadays, y'all some evil people. Hmm. But yeah, back to my child. What y'all think I should do for her birthday? Because really, I don't need to get her no darn gifts. Because, whew, she still got about, I don't know. Because, see, I um I had found out I had corona right before Christmas. Thank God I had left the gifts at my mom's house. So, she was such a sweetheart. My baby wrapped up them gifts for me and everything. So, when she brought it over to the house, guess what I found out? That was a lot of damn gifts. And I still don't even remember where I got some of them gifts from. Y'all, I thought my baby won't go high no Christmas. But thank the Lord, I had got her them gifts ahead of time. Praise God, won't he do it? Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, so my mother-in-law. I'm going to tell y'all everything they said off camera. <laughs> y'all heard that last though. <laughs> Go ahead, let it out, Ma. Come on, Ma, let it out. <laughs> Tiff, you are not right. You are not right. Y'all, so, no, because she just tried to do me. She going to say the beauty blender didn't say that on the um package to wet it. I don't know. I didn't read it. How many of y'all actually read the packages? Do you? Because I don't. Every now and then I might, but that time I did not do it. And I'm not going to lie to you. So, my mama going to leave me alone and stop trying to come for me right now. Go ahead. Get that laugh out, girl. Get that laugh out, girl. You know you want to laugh. Get that laugh. Ooh, I can be a rapper, y'all. I might can't sing, but I can be a rapper. What you want to say? Yeah, my mama found me in the Easter basket. She said she really didn't give birth to me. She said she found me in the Easter basket. See? Don't she look like a rabbit? Everybody be trying to make me do stuff to myself. Everybody just want to hurt my feelings and I don't know why. Do y'all want to be my friend? Be my evil. friend. <laughs> I'm not evil. They didn't say I was evil. Did y'all say I was evil? No. She over here trying to hurt my feelings, but it's all gravy. So, all I'm doing is going back over my nose. Because, like I said, I want this snatched. Because when it's snatched and I take them pictures, I'll be like, hey. So, yeah. So, we're going to do that. So, look, y'all. My birth mom said I got her out here in these streets all late, right? So, she said she ain't going to be able to come out here no more. David. You ain't gonna let my mama come out here and hang with her daughter no more. Hmm. Mm. We'll see. Because I'll come get her anyway. What he gonna do? What you gonna do, David? Hmm. Huh. You gonna go tell the master? You gonna go tell the master on me? Nah, seriously. So what I'm doing right now is blending down my console, okay? Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm gonna be good in the rest of this video because I don't know. What in the world is going on? These people got me acting crazy. I'm not like that. 
I'm such a sweetheart. But they keep trying to mess with me, y'all. And they think I ain't going to tell y'all what's going on. I think the people want to know what they doing to me. Don't y'all want to know what they doing to me? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So we just blended down the contour. Basically, pat, pat, pat blend. Pat, pat, pat blend. Pat, pat, pat blend. Oh, she locked herself out. Hold on one second. <laughs> y'all my mama went outside to get her water right y'all me and my mother-in-law hear her banging for dear life so the shop is closed right now so they've locked the doors she's banging like somebody's trying to attack her i'm sorry y'all i had to pause the video and go save her i didn't know what was going on and she don't even know i was talking about her and her husband while she was gone but I she'll find out. New detectives. You <laughs> hear me? They be killing people on that video. <laughs> she'll find out when she watched this video. Her and Mr. David Gilliam. My stepfather. What you gonna do, sir? Master? You won't go tell Master on me, sir? Blend it on down, girl. Blends it on down. You make me feel so good. Oh, you make me feel so good. Y'all. Man, I ain't gonna get home till 12 o'clock. Messing with you. Ooh, what time is it? 9.54. Mom, we ain't gonna get home at no time. Y'all, it's, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. We got six minutes to 10. And she talk about we ain't going to get home till 12 o'clock. All I got to do is put on some lashes, some lips, you know. She got a curfew, y'all. Mr. David, I almost said his whole name, <laughs> got on lock. She be talking all this junk about him. But he got her on, <laughs> but he got her on lock. That is, <laughs> he got her on lock right there. not to make this video long but i am not gonna edit all that out we are gonna keep this in this video and then when she show him he gonna be like why was you hitting on my child he gonna say you should have knocked her out no he ain't he gonna be like why was you hitting on my baby tiffany tiffany who she acting like who she acting like he want me to say her mama <laughs> grandma i love you boo i mama. love you i'm gonna show my mama what you talking about but grandma, that's what he be saying for real. He always asking me who she acting like. Because he know if I say you, she going to pop me. She don't want to be you, girl. That ain't my <laughs> That's not my fault. <laughs> I'm trying to be good and fitting. <laughs> my mother-in-law been laughing so hard, y'all. She got a cramp in her leg. Dang. You want me to call somebody to straighten that? Yeah. Dream. That was. I ain't going to say no names, but Dream. If he ever watched this video, he know who I'm talking about. I might just send you this video. Because you know you be asking about my mother-in-law. Homie, I be trying to hook you up with her. But um, I think she's scared. You done did something to her that you got her scared of you. Mom, what he be doing to you? He say dream and you just get 
I hope it's nothing but adults on this video. Let me stop right there. Because mm -hmm. when he say dream, y'all know what she be ready to do. Drop them pages. I know her choking me. That was violence. Cops, I hope uh, you, you see this video. <laughs> All right, I'm using this Juvie's Place. I really like this color. Y'all see in a lot of my vid videos, I actually use this. It's the Lux Lana Cola. I really like that. And this is the Bronze Chestnut. Last time I did it with the, I want to say it was Bronze. I don't know. It was a Bronze Chestnut and something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. But this time, we're just going to use the Bronze Chestnut so I can have a deep, dark look. Kinda trying to stay with these fall colors I got going on. Hence the green. Mm -mm. And the gold earrings. And it's their lip stain. And I don't even need a lot. Mm -mm. I see how I tried to clean that up with my finger. Don't touch nothing though. Because it's going to get everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Y'all look. We gonna clean it up. Y'all do not try this at home. Cause obviously I'm about to make it worse. Why my mama stopped rocking. Just to see if I was gonna make it worse. Cause yep if I make it worse. Guess what they gotta stay here till I fix it. Cause my mother-in-law scared to go outside now. Cause my mama not scared her. So now she got to wait for us. So now I got to speed it up. See? You make me feel so good. Honey. Mm -mm. Y'all, they be doing me so dirty. But it's all good. I still love them. I do. Somewhat. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just using my somebody by two faced bronzer. Cause I really, really love the way it makes me look. Oh, y'all said y'all want me to get back to rapping. Okay. My mama said, nah, she ain't like my rapping skills. Mom, did you like my rapping skills? Mm hmm. Oh, well. Both of y'all suck. Ooh, I think I look sexy. Y'all yeah, think I look sexy? Jojo Boo, you think I look sexy? Hmm, hmm, hmm. You just was bougie. I'm not bougie, though. That yeah. was kind of ghetto. That wasn't bougie. That was bougie. Oh, okay. Pull out my hair. Hold on. Let me fix the hair. So we can get ready to take this picture. Ooh, that girl look good. Ooh. Y'all. She look real good. Fix this hair right here. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Get ready to help me get this up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's on it. It's on it. It's on it. What? Okay. Let me pose for these pictures real quick because they looking at me like I'm crazy. But, um. 